Hey guys, Alan here, and I'm here to show you how to install a root and clockwork recovery to your Titan, uh, Spice Me 500, or your Konka 990. So the first thing you need to do is to, or need to have, is the USB drivers for the phone. I'll uh, go to the screen. You can just go to Droid Dizer or just download the files I did attach and you need to install install super one click there there's a link this is the website thank you very much droid dizer and just download his files or the files that I did include and why do you need two files first one super one click the reason you need it is because you have to install the USB drivers. The next option is root read restore and by binary. After you install that, uh, it's actually, these files are not actually installers. These are just files you can that you have to extract and run afterwards. So I'm just downloading Super One Click in the video. I forgot to download it, but technically I don't need it since I do have the USB drivers for the Android any Android device and uh, you can actually download the Android SDK from Google if you don't want to use super one click the USB drivers do get installed and then after you get in after you get these two you downloaded you can go you have to go to your phone and okay, there we go and your phone um, sorry go to system settings and then developer op oh. <laughs> developer options and you have to make sure that USB debugging is checked just to make sure that nothing goes wrong put stay awake put check on that too and other purposes is go to security and then unknown sources since you're going to install the APKs that I've included. After you do that, going to your extracted files, uh, root, ready to restore. Yeah, by the way, the wallpaper is the Master Race PC. Master Race. You, know, you just Google it, what it means. Anyway, um, Root root, rest root root restore folder. Uh, you will have two files: runme.bat and runme.sh. So runme.bat. That's the one that you want to double click. And you get this screen. There you go. So just press one for normal rooting, and it will actually do that running. After it says running, it says click on restore on your phone. And there it is. So just click on restore my data. Restoring data. After that, the phone would reboot and the installer would, would actually say that. Reboot your Android device. It doesn't boot right away. Oh, it does. <laughs> uh, after you reboot or after the system reboots wait for the device to show up again yes so after it reboots like this uh, the message will go go away and you are already rooted which it says here press any key going back to the phone it does take a while sometimes boots about twice or thrice before you can actually go into the phone but it does when it does and uh, you are supposed to be or you're supposed to be rooted after that it does take its sweet time to load and uh, yeah, right. still waiting
yeah, it kind of shows up, or kind of shows like the phone froze up, but it didn't. And there. To make sure that you are rooted, just go to your app drawer and check if you have Super SU. To make sure that your root is working, you can download um, Titanium Backup Root Toolbox. These files or these apps will, will ask for root access. So you can use that to get well, root access. And that's how you install root. Next one is actually more faster. I download the clockwork recoveries that I have attached in the, in the description. And make sure you thank, if you have time, thank Droid Dizer one of the members in the XDA forums that did or is participating in how to create how to port the recovery and of course uh, Niall Stamby I don't know how to pronounce your username but thank you very much for porting the recoveries and there's this post I don't know I don't want to participate in that but anyway once you downloaded the recovery files just paste them in your root recovery or sorry, not root recovery, root at root of your SD card, and download this application from the market, mobile, it's called Mobile app, Uncle Tools. Download that, run it. Oh, it's not running, sorry. There we go, run. And as you can see, it, it's already had root access. So, this would is what you get on the screen first run so the only thing you actually have to do here is recovery update and those are the two recovery images these two are just the same but since the phone has phone storage and SD card just put them in both just to make sure and just press 1 it will ask you use recovery file image Da, da, da. Okay. It will copy right away. Okay. We'll disconnect. It will reboot. When the phone reboots, you should be in a clockwork recovery. You should be. And I am in a clockwork recovery. There we go. All options work. Sorry. All options work. Even restore backup works. The only thing I found is a bug in the V2 recovery, or in the new recovery, is that you can't delete your backups. Not really a big issue because you can delete the backups in Windows, or in the phone itself. But this one is working now, you can restore any file that you have saved. And there you go, you have root and CWM installed on your phone, congratulations. That's the end of the video. If you like the video of course like the video uh, share the video if you want if you have any questions or concern concerns <laughs> just put a comment and I will reply to you if I can and thank you for watching